got our van and the jetter here but the break is coming out to the city sewer the roots are actually coming in right underneath the porch here so he'd have to remove the whole porch to dig this all up and go out to the city sewer i believe sits pretty far on this one since the manhole sits past the l line so his oh actually it's this one this is the sanitary that's gonna be storm so sanitary is running really right down the yellow line so from the back of the basement all the way out with that front porch and everything he'd have to dig that all up so we're providing them with a lining quote so that never needs to be dug this is a liner you can actually see the the line inside the pvc you can see the scrim so we're gonna shoot a liner down it starts out as a flexible material like this and that's what actually lines the pipe inside the sewer line without ever having to dig it up so we're doing an estimate there right now terry's gonna run the camera out and we're gonna see the roots go ahead bud yeah there's just like a wire right there at the bottom and i think you got to go out about the record set about 50 feet is where from here where the first root location was and we're gonna have to try to jet that out and check out the rest of the pipe a little bit of a lift there that's gonna be our first root spot right there all right pull that back just a touch terry just a little bit more oh yeah you can see the roots all gathered up in there and then it looks like the pipe see how it's kind of dipping down in here I think the bottom of the pipe is dropping off. Possibly either missing or separate a little bit, but we're gonna get the jetter hose down here and uh, see if we can't jet it out to get the camera past that spot. Ready to jet, guys. We got the clean out right here. It goes right down. And then we have a warthog nozzle that actually cuts roots out and it's super flexible. And what it does is it actually goes down the pipe and oscillates with the jetter hose. We get it in the spot, make sure it's really good and tight. We have the channel locks on it. Okay. There you go, Terry. Yeah, so if you want to fire me up to low pressure and then we'll get out to it and then crank it up. So he's headed out there now. But yeah, we're doing all this just for a liner estimate. Um, and the way that we blow this, it's called inverting. Um, but we'll actually probably come to the front of the basement here while he gets ready to crank that up And shoot it out. We'll probably end up jackhammering the floor up by this water meter where it goes out and then shoot it out to the street from there spot that's that first spot I can feel it now that I'm getting through so I'm feeling that now so we'll go up past that make sure that we're getting to the street and then we'll bring it back and hit them spot by spot with that cuts the roots up. These warthog nozzles work awesome. I think Terry just killed it. Okay. So you can see as I go down the pipe, try to hold it and 
show you guys. You can see the jetter hose in the pipe, obviously. Oh, I'm running out the camera right now, Terry. I'm running it out right now. You can see the loose roots on the bottom there. Those have all been changed out. That's the first root spot now that we're dealing with, so we'll cut that out again. But you can see like the water dripping off of it. That looks a lot better than it did. Second root location. So this is kind of what we're more looking for, where they're almost all the way cut out. That's a tie-in outside, so that might be out towards the curb area. Oh yeah, he's got quite a few root intrusions, for sure. And that's the head of the jetter hose right there. Let's see if we can find the city sewer. Terry, you want to push that for me? I'm not sure. It's starting to get hard with the, how far it out, out it is. With one hand. So it's definitely clay pipe, and there's a little lip there. Keeps steaming up on us just because somebody's taking a morning shower down the block. So it steams the whole line up. I think you're getting close, Terry. I think that might be it right there. I think that's going to be your 45 and in. Uh, yeah. See if you can't push You want to go in by it? Yeah, if I can. I think that's right where it ties in. Yep, that's right where it ties into the city sewer right there. Okay, so let's uh, pull that back um, and we'll get a measurement out at the curb. So let me kill this for now and then we'll run that jetter hose the again. Camera. Well, the reason we can't leave the camera in with the jetter is because that jetter is kicking up so fast that it'll actually spray the debris back and actually sandblast the glass on the camera head so you won't be able to see. So. To protect the camera, we bring it back 30, 40 feet. If it's a really short run, we'll pull the whole camera back the whole way. But we got it back pretty pretty good now. And then we'll mark that spot on the jetter hose. So all I'm going to do is pull this back 30 feet and then go back in. Probably about 25 feet, honestly. But we'll hear as soon as he turns that on. You'll hear it throughout the drain pipe. So I'll get it up to speed. Like I said, I got it marked with my thumb here. And then as it cuts, see anything on the camera lens not really you can see kind of some of the air pulses with the water comes back right back to the same location It's pretty fogged up right now, but we'll get it cleaned up here in a second. Once we get to some water, there we go. So that water cleans right up. No, one second, I'm gonna run the camera out again. So you can see right on the, I think it actually is on the camera head now, but there was a wipe right there. Right down at the bottom, you can see a wipe on the, where the camera head was. It's just a little scraggler root right there. We're not going to be able to cut that out most likely. We can try to run one more time, but some of these 
what happens is with some of these little dangly roots, when we go to cut them, the air actually pushes them up right up to the side of the pipe. So it makes it almost nearly impossible to cut them out. Oh yeah, it's cutting them right out. Well, what kills us is like now we can't get by this turn because we don't have the roots building up on us. Let's see if we can push, push by that turn. Probably gonna have to pull it back like five feet and then hit it with some speed. You can see the offset where it goes down. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to get by that now. So what was happening was the roots were actually helping us jump that lift. Jump that lift. Yeah. Which we can get the jetter hose out if we need to check further than that. Um, but other than that, I think the rest of it, Terry, okay. we can clean it up real quick and then pull it back. And I think the rest of the root spots look pretty darn good. Yeah. Like I said, I'll hit those one more time. Go out just a touch here. So right at the bottom here, you're gonna see on the bottom of the pipe, keep going. Right there, that's a free root clump right there. So that's what we're blowing out. So that'll, I'll carry out with the, when somebody flushes the toilet the first time, that'll all clean that right out. Okay, and that's out of the pipe. Beautiful. There we go. Look at that thing rip. Kind of gives you a different picture because it sits out of the water. That's in the bottom of the pipe. Okay, so that's an outside clean out right there. This is going out. All those root intrusions look good. So this is the spot right here. Yep, popped right over top of it. That one looks good. It's actually running pretty easy with that egghead on it. And that is going to be your city sewer tie-in right there. Right where it drops in. Okay. Alright, that one looks good then. Like that that egg nod got right over it then.